In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the electric charge given the electric field and the mass only. So we have this problem here, which says an electric field E equals to 100,000 newtons per coulomb causes the 5.0 gram point charge to hang at an angle 20 degrees. And the question says, what is the charge on the ball? So what is the charge on the ball? So I've been given the electric field and the mass only with the angle there to calculate the electric charge or the charge on the ball. So the first step to tackle this question, we first need to draw a free body diagram which summarizes all this statement which is here. So the free body diagram for that question is this diagram which is here. On this diagram, we have this point charge of 5 gram. We have the electric field pointing in the positive x direction. How have we known that the electric field points is pointing in the uh, positive x direction? It's because of this i, which is in this figure here. That i tells us to say the electric field E is pointing in the positive x direction from there after drawing our free body diagram step two we are going to show all the forces resolve all the forces that are acting on that point charge there so we have the tension force in the string acting at an angle we are going to resolve that in the x and y components and then we have the mg which is the weight of that ball the gravitational force which is acting in the negative y direction we have the force electric force caused by the electric field there which is acting in the positive x direction we have the uh the x component of the tension force in the string which is acting in the negative x direction and we also have the tension force the component of the tension force in the y direction there okay so to resolve all the forces we are going to have this diagram which is down here this diagram here is the same point charge with all the forces acting on it. Remember, this point charge is not moving. It is stationary, meaning the, the Y component of the tension force should be equal to mg and the X component of the tension force should be equal to the electric force in that diagram there. So to equate this, we are going to have two equations which are these equations here. So we are saying the T sine theta there, which is the X component of the tension force, will be equals to the electric force, which is given by the formula EQ. EQ is the electric force, the formula for electric force of a point charge. Okay, so um, we are going to write that as our equation one. Okay. So that will be our equation one. And then from there, we have mg, which is equals to the y component of the tension force. That will be our equation two. Remember, we're looking for the charge. Looking for the charge. So we are going to divide our equation one, or our equation two into equation one, so that we uh, make Q the subject of the formula and then from there, we're going to replace these values which are here to find the electric charge. Okay, so on our data, we have uh, 100,000 newtons per column as our electric field. We have 5 grams. So this 5 gram, remember, we need to use SI units. So we are going to convert it into kgs. Then from there, we have the force of gravity, which is given by 9.8 newtons per column. This is this uh, newtons per kg that can also be in meters per second squared okay so let's move forward so to divide our equation one by equation two we are going to have something like this which is t sine 20 over t equals 20 equals to eq which is electric field uh, times charge over mg which is the mass times the force of gravity so this here sine over cos is tan so we're going to have tan 20 there. Remember this T divided by T will cancel there. 
so we're going to remain with tan 20 which is equals to eq over mg so to make q the subject of the formula we're going to cross multiply there so when you cross multiply there we're going to have our eq this side and then we are going to have our mg tan 20 the, that side so to remain with q we're going to divide by e on both sides then e there will cancel then we are going to remain with our q this side which is nothing but would be equals to mg tan 20 over e so here we have our q as our subject of the formula then what is has remained now is just to replace the values and find the charge which is q so we have our mass which which is here our mass was given and it is 0 0.005 kg so we replace it here and then we have our g our g is also a constant which is 9.8 newtons per kg which is here and tank 20 over e our e is 100 thousand newtons per column there okay so this kg will cancel with that kg and the newtons will cancel with the newtons they are units will be in columns which are the units for the charge so a charge when you punch this on your calculator you are going to have 1.78 times 10 to the power negative 7 as our charge so that's the solution that's those are the steps to on how to calculate the the charge for this question here so I have this question please try to use the steps and find the solution to this problem here and then from there leave your answers in the comment section below and i'm going to send you the answers to this to this question which is here okay so thank you very much for watching this video remember don't forget to like subscribe and leave your comment in the comment section below